Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a makeup tutorial because I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do a new series on my channel where I try and do a makeup look inspired by a certain colour. And the first colour that I'm going to be doing for this series of videos is going to be red. So this is my red makeup look. I'm wearing a red hoodie especially for the occasion because you know why not and I love this hoodie like it's just really really cool it's from Primark it was £10 it isn't mine it's Aubrey's but I borrowed it because I really like this hoodie so I'm gonna make a start by putting my little bunny ears in just to kind of get my hair away from my face so I'm gonna start off by priming I have already you know put some skincare products on my face but you'll see that in a skincare routine at some point on my channel's life this one is the MUA Pro Base Setting Mist. It looks like this. And basically what I do is I just put a couple of sprays onto a brush and then I just kind of brush that on. I like to do this just because I'm a bit of a weirdo really. Um, I just find it quite fun, you know, just to paint on with a brush. Um, I use this as a primer instead of a setting spray because this does not work well as a setting spray. And it's also super refreshing like as a primer underneath your makeup. So I do quite like it. Oh, for God's sake, I've lost the lid. Oh, hang on, it's here. Oh, it's see-through. I thought that was going to be danger. And I go in with a second primer, which is an actual primer. This one's from Makeup Revolution. It looks like this, and it is the Ultra Fluid, Ultra Face Base Primer 24 Hour. This is more of a kind of pore filling primer rather than a silicone primer. So I'll put a little bit on my face like this, just in those areas. And when I rubbed this in with my fingers, I was like, oh, you know, it's all right. But when I started rubbing it in with a brush, I started to see how it really does fill in your pores. And I was like, oh my God, like you could really see it filling them in. And basically what's good about that is that when your makeup applies on top, your makeup isn't going and sitting into your pores. It sits on top of your skin and it doesn't look kind of cakey or anything like that. Now I'm going to use a foundation and today I'm using my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation and I mix that with my MUA custom colour foundation mix mixer to whiten it up because this is not my shade so I use them in combination. I could also use today instead this Kiko gold wave fluid foundation but I am going to use that in a different video when I do like a summer glowy makeup look because this has got SPF in it and it's also a very light coverage so I'm going to be going for a heavy coverage today rather than light coverage this foundation is amazing it is so full coverage like you you don't really realize it until like you put it on your face obviously I don't know what I'm on about Basically, everyone hypes about this foundation and they're right to because it covers so well. It's perfect for my oily skin because it actually doesn't make my skin any oilier throughout the day. It stays full coverage and when you compare it to other foundations, it's actually so good. So yeah, put my little drop on, put my little mixer on and then I just give it a little mix on my hand. And then I just kind of pop that in sort of all areas of my face. By the way, I'm only using the viewfinder as a mirror. I just love doing foundation because it just covers everything. It's so satisfying to watch. By the way, if you're wondering why I put hashtag carrot in the back, I have absolutely no idea. It just came to mind. I've got so many video ideas, by the way, guys. So many video ideas. I've literally written down like a hundred. Most of them are makeup related, but they're kind of challenge videos. Um, but I do like to kind of mix up my videos on my channel. So there won't be like a ton of makeup videos all in one go. Um, but I am going to try and upload at 5pm on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's my aim to kind of upload on because, you know, I always used to do that. So I want to do that now. And if it gets past 5pm and I haven't uploaded, it'll probably come up at 6 or something like that. Um, or 5pm the next day. It just depends what I'm doing that day. So I do like to make sure it's thoroughly blended. Sometimes I blend it so much that, you know, it, the coverage does go a little bit, but that's fine. I'm now going to use a concealer. Now, this concealer actually has kind of run out, so I added a bit of water to it. So the reason why it looks kind of bitty and the coverage isn't really there is because I've added water to it. But that's what I always do to my concealers. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. Oh, by the way, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is a great concealer. Um, I think I put it in my June favourites, so if you, ju yeah, June favourites, so if you want to go and see that, then I'll link that down below. By the way, if you ever have a really watery concealer, 
often what that can do is it can mess up your foundation underneath when you try and blend it in so what i'd recommend doing is put it on your skin leave it for a little while so leave it for about 20 30 seconds and then go in and it gives it more coverage and just means that it won't kind of you know remove any foundation from underneath and we're going to blend that in also um some people have been asking me if i'm nervous for results day my a-level results and the answer to that question is no i haven't really thought about it and i don't really think about it at all um my opinions on my a-level results are actually kind of weird i'm expecting the worst because i really you know that's not because i you know want to expect the worst just in case it's because i'm genuinely expecting bad grades and that is a shame because i feel like i've wasted two years of my life studying for something that i've then got bad grades in and you know what can you really do about that not right now nothing i'm just thanking the lord i've got an unconditional to the university that i want to get into but obviously i still want to do well and i have revised i did revise quite a lot i did put quite a lot of effort in i know i could certainly have put way more effort in i could have put double the amount of effort in but that would have meant kind of starting fresh from year one so if you've not done your a levels yet and you're going to do them honestly from year one start working hard because you can't honestly turn it around you really can't so i'm not expecting too great too much great things from my results but i think i will do sort of a live reaction video oh by the way this is the natural collection powder pressed um in the shade cool i am doing a live reaction video on my channel i think unless it's so so bad but i think you know even if i do do bad which i'm kind of expecting it's all about keeping it real like most people or quite a lot of people will obtain the results that i get so therefore why should i just post happy you know happy good results happy results um so i think i'm gonna keep it real and i think i'm still gonna post that video this bronzer here is one i got from mua i think i've had it for ages it's in the shade sunset tan and it's a really really good one it's not too too pigmented which is all the camera which is great because i don't want you know too much of a bronze obviously it is summertime so you know you can go a little bit extra i'm now going to use some contour i've honestly had this contour palette i would say for about three four years this is the collection contouring palette i will purchase a new one soon don't worry um and i'm using this kind of cool toned contour shade just slightly and a little bit down my nose under my jawline now for blusher i'm using this blusher which i purchased offline ages ago it looks like this um it's in the shade 106 peach haze i don't know what the actual brand is because it doesn't say it on it but it was one pound something off amazon and i've been obsessed with this for years i've had this same one for about i'd say four years maybe four or five years and i know you know obviously makeup does go out of date and you do need to bear that in mind but i still love it it's fine you know when your face itches when you're doing makeup and it's because you've got a hair on your face but you can't see the hair because it's a tiny little thing it's oh drives me mad okay um i'm gonna use some highlighter now i'm gonna use this new one which i've got which i haven't used on my channel before but it's the glow commotion shimmer highlighter from w7 and it's a gold colored one so let's give that a try this can look quite powdery um but it does have a nice color oh and you can see that highlighter glowing when i'm filming i do have a tendency to apply a lot more makeup than i would in day-to-day -day life and that's because on the camera like you can get away with it i feel like sometimes in my videos you see a hint of how weird i am i am actually quite weird in real life like my friends would describe me as kind of weird um hopefully a good weird but you know i'm not too sure but i feel like in my videos i can be quite serious um in quite a lot of them and quite i don't know mature i'm not sure what the word is um but actually i can be quite silly sometimes and i don't think that's demonstrated in any of my videos apart from my vlogs so if you want to see what i'm really like i'd watch my vlogs if i was you so for the eyeshadow for you know something red which is what this makeup look actually is about i'm going to take my zoeva coco blend eyeshadow palette and i'm just going to use this for transition shades this is a great palette i'm going to use the shade bitter start which is this um 
pale colour here and just kind of pop that over my eyelid. I would zoom the camera in but CBA. Georgie cannot be bothered. And then I'm going to take the shade Substitute for Love which is a really great transition shade. So my eyes started watering for no reason at all. And you kind of take that up a little bit like this. By the way, um, I want my channel to be very kind of mixed in terms of videos. I want to do more makeup videos because I do enjoy and love doing my makeup. And I also, you know, want to do a variety of different videos. So if you have any ideas, you know, leave them down below. Then I'm going to take the shade Freshly Toasted. And I'm just going to kind of pop that in the crease a little bit more. Just to kind of deepen that up a little bit. And again, I'm looking in the viewfinder. Okay, and that's it for this palette. I'm then going to take my Sof uh, Revolution Sofix Revolution Eyeshadow Palette. This one here. This is a great palette. Very much loved by myself. Um, and I'm going to take the shade. I'm going to take the shade Pumpkin, which is this kind of ready shade here. And I'm going to just use my normal brush and just kind of pack that on. This is obviously a red makeup look. All oh, my camera's about to turn off. Hello. Yeah, my camera always turns off at 16 minutes in, so that's quite rough. And you can see the pigmentation is very high. I'm supposed to be going on a picnic with my dad and brother um, at lunchtime today, and my brother is going to be complaining about my makeup. He always moans. He's like, oh, you wear too much makeup. And most of the time, I, I love wearing makeup. I love it. Like, it's not because it gives me confidence. It's not because... I feel like I need it. It's because I love doing it. This colour looks so pigmented in real life, like um, on the camera, but in real life it's not that. That is shocking. Oh my god! Like in real life, it is quite pigmented, but not to that level. So I'm quite happy with that. Usually it's the other way around. Pigmented in real life, but not on the camera. So that is that. Obviously, you know, you need to do a little bit of blending here and there. Um, I'm gonna take the shade Cloudberry. Is that Cloudberry? Yeah, this orangey one here, and I'm just going to kind of try and just buff out those edges a little bit. Because you want to make it a little bit more seamless. Obviously, if you do get a little bit messy, you can clean everything up with concealer. Just pop a bit of concealer up here, and everything kind of goes well. I'm not sure whether to keep this a matte look or add a bit of shimmer. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm going to take the shade Danger, this kind of shade there, and I'm just going to try and deep up, deepen up the crease a little bit, um, just to give a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to take these two shades down here, these two brown ones mixed together. This one's Mug Cake and this one's Rosewood, sorry. And I'm just going to take a bit of those mixed together and pop that right in the outer corner, like that. Now underneath, um, on the lower lash line, I am going to take that red shade, Pumpkin, again. And just pop that on the lower lash line. Focus on my face. Bro, I'm loving this. Right, I'm now going to take a brush to blend this out. So it's just a, another clean brush. And I just like to go around and just kind of blend everything out a little bit more. I know that my eyeshadow is quite prominent and it goes all the way up to my eyebrows. But that's the way I like it. I'm very experimental with my eyeshadow. And I can quite happily leave the house, you know, wearing what I'm wearing now. And I will be leaving the house wearing what I'm wearing now. Because I'm going for a picnic. Okay, so now for a little bit of inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the shade Fairy Lights, which is this kind of whitey, oh my god, whitey shade sort of here. And I'm going to just pop that on the inner corner. Okie dokes. So a lot of people don't like my eyebrows and how I do them, which is fine because, you know, personal preference and everything. Um, but, you know, it's whatever you're happy with, isn't it? That matters. So, are you focused on my face, mate? You better be. So, I'm going to be using this pomade. It says on the top of it, Veroni or something like that. Um, but I'm going to be taking this. I got it from Amazon. And it's just like a little pomade thing. Um, and I'll just pop a little bit on my angled brush. And then I'm just going to start to pop it on my brows. Um, this is quite difficult for me to show you. Thank you. 
I'm going to take my Primark brow palette and I've had this for ages but I'm just going to take a mixture of this shade and this shade and just kind of put it on, pop it on the inner part of my eyebrow just to kind of give more of an ombre effect. done yeah i've done my eyebrows they were a little bit dodgy in the middle but oh by the way i got a great response on my mental health video that i filmed very very happy with that so thanks to everyone that commented obviously if you're watching this video which you're probably not because i know a lot of people um do subscribe just for revision videos or just for my videos on mental health because i know i get a lot of subscribers from kind of my selective mutism videos stuff like that so if you commented on that video thank you um those videos always get a good response and they are quite controversial topics to talk about so sometimes i do think you know maybe i shouldn't talk about it because a lot of people have their own opinions on you know mental health topics and stuff like that um but thanks to the to the nice commenters um so today i'm using the rimmel scandalized wow wings this was in my rimmel vox box that i got sent from influencer if you didn't see that video i'll link it down below go and watch it to see how you too can get a free vox box this is a decent mascara. I do find it is quite clumpy. As you can see, it is clumping up. But it is decent. And it does give good length and obviously volume. So that's the difference between my lashes right now. So mascara is done. This is what my lashes look like with mascara on. Now I'm going to do lipstick. And obviously this is a red makeup look. So wouldn't I be the fool not to use a red lipstick? I have three excessively and they're all very very different i'm gonna use this mua one to actually line my lips the mua lipsticks come with a little pot so i can use that as a lip liner they're only a pound they're well good you've got a pot for lip liner and you've got the actual lipstick you can't go wrong so i'm gonna just take this little brush and i'm gonna line my lips oh by the way i am actually not the you know the most comfortable wearing red lipstick outside the house so i will take this off before my picnic like i think if i was with my friends and i went on holiday with my friends i'd be completely comfortable wearing it but i just can't be doing with the comments from my brother like what are you wearing that for so my lips are lined imagine if i just left it like this Oh, I think my dad's come back from doing whatever he was doing um so that's that lipstick i'm now gonna take this um kind of bourgeois color boost lipstick it has spf 15 in it there's an spf in a lipstick cool and this is in the shade number five red island i actually got this for like 50p or something from tesco because they had loads of reductions on but i'm gonna pop this on oh my god that looks so red and glossy on the camera In real life, it's more pinky. But on camera, that's so glossy. That looks well good, I hope. And you're at home being like, Georgie, what the heck are you on about? Oh, I love the gloss. I'm not sure whether to leave it like that because I have got a matte red lipstick here. I could go over the top again. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this NYX um, lipstick in the shade Amsterdam. And I'm just going to pop that over the top and just see what happens now this makes my eyeshadow look a lot less red <laughs> and to finish off we're going to pop on some setting spray i'm using the collection primed and ready makeup fixing spray it is coming to an end and i always always buff that in with a little sponge just to kind of get rid of any dots or anything I am living for this look. What the heck? I love this. This looks cool. If I do say so myself. So, this is a close up. Loving the lipstick. Loving it. Loving this red theme. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So, 
So this is my red themed makeup look. This is my kind of take on the colour red for a themed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit more chatty than I thought it was going to be. I think for the next colours that I do, I won't show you my base makeup unless it's changed. If it changes, then I will obviously show you. But if it remains constant, then I'll just do my base makeup and then come and do the eyeshadow and lipstick on camera. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.